Wait, do you know anything about the cowboy and the girl? What? The cowboy and the girl. Wait, do you mean the cowboy that the teacher threw upstairs? Yeah, and the girl that supposedly died in the basement. Yeah, what about them? I don't really think the story is true. Well, anyways, Tigers, I'm Haley. And I'm Maddie, and today's date is October 31st, 2016. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about superstitious things. And not only that, we're also going to have two reports, announcements, lunch, this day in history, the word of the day, and Tiger Teaser. But before we get started, let's go to the report on superstitions. Good luck. Bad luck. Karma. They're all very superstitious things. We've all heard that black cats are bad luck. But have you ever heard the really wacky superstitions? Hey Tigers, I'm Bailey, and I've taken upon myself to share the most out there superstitions around. Awkward silences. We've all had one. But did you know some people believe when an awkward silence occurs that angels are passing over? In the country Qatar, it's believed you're not supposed to kill spiders in your home because they have the power to control house fires. I guess my house is catching on fire because I do not tolerate those eight-legged monsters. Last but certainly not the least odd, a knife as a gift from a significant other means the love will soon end. I don't know about you, but if my significant other gave me a knife as a gift, I think that'd be my signal to get going. I think I want to go break some more mirrors. That's all for this on Selling a News Report. Now back to the anchors. Um, Haley, I kind of have to tell you something. I'm taking care of my pet cat whiskers today. Didn't you hear what Bailey said about all those superstitions? Yeah, but they're kind of fake to me. Yeah, some of them actually seem true though, especially the one about the cat. Well, maybe we should go investigate the superstitions about eating food at school. Okay. Hey Tigers, I'm Brenaya, and today for lunch we're having chicken jambalaya, whole grain PB&J, chicken Caesar salad, meatball subs, seasoned black beans, fresh veggie combo, garden salad, and chill fruit. Have you found any superstitions for lunch yet? No, but I doubt there is any. Well, you can believe that. I'm gonna try to find some. Okay, so while you're looking for that, I think we are gonna go to the report. You may not know this, but this school is very old. Kathleen Middle School started off as a high school in 1928. And as you know, old schools tend to be a little haunted. Hey guys, I'm Ian, and today I'll be sharing some stories regarding our school's haunted past. This story is about a cowboy. Now, Mr. Morrison claims there is a ghostly apparition of a cowboy that haunts these upstairs hallways. Besides hearing noises, he claims that the ghost kindly turns on his air conditioner up to two hours before he gets to school. Okay, well, what makes you think there is, in fact, a ghostly cowboy? Well, there have been a few mornings where I show up early, around 7 a.m., and, and uh, my, my air is already on. The, the, the room is cold. Um, the air is on a timer, right? So somebody has to actually be here to turn it on. Nobody was here. Do you have any proof, any hard evidence? Well, I don't have any hard evidence. No photographs or anything like that, but I have witnessed enough. I've, I've seen enough Luke, things. Luke, um, you know. I'm a little skeptical here, and you're not giving me enough evidence yeah, that there is, in fact, a ghostly cowboy. Yeah, but it's, it's really scary if you hear them all. Okay. Ah! We've heard reports of a ghost in the basement. I'm here to check it out. This story is the most famous in my opinion. Everybody inside the school and out probably knows this. But if you don't, a few years back, a girl supposedly died in this very basement. Um, probably just a bunch of pipes or something. As you can see, these reports are clearly just stories. What was that? Faulty wiring. Let's go wrap this report up. There it is. Believe it or not, as for me, I'm still a little skeptical. But as the Ghostbusters always say, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'm Ian, signing off for Raw Media. I found a superstition today. What is it? I heard in China, if you eat long pieces of noodles, you have a long life. So would this count? Um, no. So what other superstitions do you have then? 
I don't really know. We should go to the Tiger Tees and I'll tell you more later. Hey Tigers, I'm Aaron, and here's today's Tiger Teaser. If Samantha ate two eighths of a pie and Courtney ate three eighths, how much is left? The answer is three eighths. We've learned some really weird superstitions. What does superstition even mean? We've been talking about this the whole time and you don't even know what it means. Yeah, I guess. So why don't we go to the word of the day so she can find out what superstition means. Hey Tigers, I'm Paige and I'm here with today's word of the day. Today's word of the day is superstitions. Superstitions are excessively credulous beliefs in and reverence for supernatural beings. Did you know today was picture day? No, I didn't, but at least I look okay. I don't. I gotta fix my hair and makeup. Well, while you're doing that, why don't we go find out what else is happening around school? Hi, Tigers. My name is Madison, and on Tuesday, November 1st, girls volleyball will be going against Bartow. At 6.30 is your junior, junior varsity, and at 7.30 is your varsity team at Kathleen Middle School. Hi Tigers, my name is Mackenzie and on Thursday, November 3rd, there will be a boys basketball game against Bartow Middle School. 6.30, there will be a junior varsity game and at 7.30, there will be a varsity game at Kathleen Middle School. Hi Tigers, I'm Allison and don't forget that we three expo field trip forms are due Friday. You better turn them in or you can't go to our field trip. This school has a lot of history. Yes, it does. I didn't know their main office was rebuilt so many times. But you know in the 1960s, this used to be elementary, middle, and high school? No, I didn't, but that explains why the little girl was in the basement when the fire started. Yeah, it does, but we should stop rambling and go to this day in history. Hi, Tigers. It's Avery. And although Halloween is a very special day, let's see what else happened on this day. In 1864, Nevada was admitted as the 36th United States. In 2000, Susie TM-31 launches carry the first residential crew to the International Space Station. In 2011, the US population went up to seven billion people. Today, we call it Seven Billion Day. You know giving someone oranges can make them fall in love with you? And okay, bye. Also, if you give rice to a newlywed couple, it gives them good health, wealth, prosperity, and happiness. Okay, but Madeleine. What? We have to go. Oh, true. Well, I'm Maddie. And I'm Haley. Signing, signing off from RAR Media. Media.